Hey. Hi. So today we're going to be speaking about our first date and what happened and how fun it was or how boring it was. <laughs> it's a whole miracle we're still here. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Did you enjoy our first date? I did. And it's very strange how two people that went on the same date had a very different experience. So I wouldn't say it was strange, I'd just say one of us had the true experience and the other person likes to make it up. What do you mean make it up? I actually had a good time. Did you? I did and I wanted to see you again and I thought that the date went very well. I mean, yeah, that's not what you think, that's not how you perceive the date, but according to me he was very good. <laughs> I mean, you have to now think to yourself how many other dates I had which I thought were good and yeah, they weren't for other people, but yeah, go on. Oh, maybe it was just down to nerves. You, um, you never laughed at any of my jokes. And you just s sat there and I, I, at one stage I was thinking, yep, I've come to date with a plank of wood. That's, that's very mean, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that, that's how I'm you, sure I you... smiled or something. Maybe I just didn't laugh like a typical loud person. <laughs> like very... <laughs> You know, trying to, you know how they say in movies, like in order to show a man that you have to, that you like him, you have to be all the time, like touching and laughing at right. him, even if he's not saying anything funny. So you basically wanted me to be fake with you. I want to be safe, fake, but you can at least laugh at my joke when I'm, you know, at least tempted to laugh at a joke that I'm telling. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that that wouldn't even have worked. Anyway, look at the story. So what happened in the first date? So um, this uh, good looking man pulled up um, with his car in front of my accommodation to pick me up and he's had in mind to take me to a very nice restaurant, I'd say probably the best or one of the most renowned restaurants in Birmingham. Yeah, we're going to go to Marco Pierre, the, um, on top of the cube, lovely view of the whole of Birmingham, the, the glass windows. Very expensive. Ooh, not very, very, it very expensive. Very expensive. It's, it's decently priced. Yeah. And I thought, this is a first date. I kind of, I have to admit, it's not very good. I thought that I don't deserve all this. Um, so I didn't feel comfortable going to such a posh restaurant. I started thinking, do I have the right clothes? Um, also, like as an unspoken thing, I was thinking, I'm all up for splitting the bill. So I was thinking, <laughs> I, am I going to be able to afford this place? At least like mine or so should I just order some bread? that's what it was about. No, no, this was I never one knew of this. the things. I never knew. The oh, main this reason. Is new. This is new to me. So that's the reason no, why you didn't want to go no, there. No, the main reason was because I didn't feel like I deserve it. Like I thought this was too much for a first date and like I felt, you know, under pressure and I, di I didn't feel adequate enough, which is bad. But it wasn't only because of the money. But it was something that all these things, you know, a woman, like we calculate a thousand things in our head before we make a decision or before we do something. So there was loads of factors that were going through my mind before I offered you to go to a high-end pub. <laughs> it was still nice. It was still nice. It was but... a nice place. It wasn't like, it wasn't smelly and... The thing is, on the first date, we didn't really, uh, we didn't really know each other like very 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 well mm. so when somebody offers to take you somewhere and then when you get in the car and you're driving there you're telling them where you're going to get to and then the other person's like no i don't want to go there i don't want to go there to me it was very it was very like okay that's very abrupt no are you sure that's exactly how i said it okay it was more like um no i don't want to go there i don't want to go there i'll think stuff what well, how can you tell me where you don't want to go when i'm paying and I'm not, I'm not taking you to McDonald's. But see, like, I didn't even know, like, you know, I didn't know your thinking process either behind all this. But if a man comes to you and says to you, can I take you out somewhere? Then I think it stands to reason that they are going to pay for you. Well. If, if they say, can we meet for lunch? Or do you want to meet for lunch? Or do you want to meet for dinner? I think, I think it's all in the, in the, in the, um, the phrasing of the words, right? I guess so, and I, I don't. I was just gonna say I don't remember what, how exactly I was asked, but I did have a day, a date once, and I went to Chicken Hut. Dixie, Dixie, Dixie Chicken. Dixie Chicken. <laughs> it wasn't, maybe, wasn't with me, by the <laughs> no, way. No, no. I just told him the story before, but I went to Dixie Chicken, and I ended up paying for both of our food. Did you? 
<laughs> you didn't time me that. I'm learning so much today. You paid for both of them. It's the embarrassing. <laughs> There's nothing to say, but you know what I mean. Like, you have to... And I don't mind, like, it's not the end of the world, but I just, you know, it's one thing to pay um, for the food in Dixie Chicken. It's another thing to pay in the cube. <laughs> yes, it is. Probably can buy 10 Dixie Chicken meals. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, so we went to this, um, the pub place. Oh, what was it called? It was a nice, like, inside the... Um, atmosphere wasn't just like a pub yeah, it was nice it was, it was nice. A, honestly like a high-end pub so mm. i wasn't not that there's anything wrong with non-high-end pubs but i'm just saying like i wasn't trying to go from here to there i was trying to go somewhere in the middle where i thought that we would both feel mm. more comfortable and be more affordable and that's where she had her plank of wood face on yep. where I'll, I'll be telling jokes and she'd just be completely serious and it was, it was i thought i felt very awkward from the, through the whole time and I remember thinking to myself you know what I don't have to be dealing with this I don't know how we got another date to be honest I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened it's very funny because on the other hand I was like looking at him and I was thinking oh, I hope he touches my hand and <laughs> like I really like how he looked like and how he talked so I was really enjoying it and you there are thinking something completely different I really don't know why you asked me out again but I yeah well do you know what okay in the restaurant, it wasn't that good. But afterwards, when we just, we drove around, didn't we? Yeah. And we were speaking, so I think you relaxed a little bit then. Mm. You, you know, you came out of your shell. It might have been you were just nervous. I was nervous, yeah. And then um, that same evening, I took her up to um, this one spot in Birmingham where I think, well, I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it really is, but it's supposed to be the highest point in Birmingham, Beacon Hill. So we drove all the way from town, all the way up Beacon Hill. And it was quite late. Well, it wasn't late, but it was it was winter, so it was dark. It was dark, and she just wanted us to enjoy the view. Yeah, so I wanted to go up there and walk around for a bit. And um, she didn't get out. Of the, she, she didn't want to get out of the car to have a walk. And it was only um, maybe a year or so laterwards I found out she didn't want to get out of the car because she thought I was going to rape her. So when you're a woman and you go out on a date with someone you don't know in their car, up in some kind of a half forest, half hill that you have no idea how you're going to get away from. Even though you might look silly, you have to look after yourself and be sensible and not go somewhere where there's no lighting, there's no people, there's no way to go back home. Okay. There's no anything. So you have to be reasonable and yeah, I did the right thing. I don't regret that part. No, yeah, no. I, in hindsight, if, I mean, if we have a daughter, that's the kind of thing I'd expect my daughter, I'd want my daughter to do. Mm. You know, if she, if she doesn't, if you don't feel safe in any sort of way, there's no point in risking it. But I suppose from my mind, knowing me, I know that I'm not going to do that. And I suppose when you hear that afterwards, it's like, oh, OK, but I wasn't going to do that. You know, I'm glad you think that highly of me. Mm. But um, but yeah, no, no, I, I, re I respected it. I respect the decision. And I'm glad you didn't tell me at the time. That's why you didn't want to get out of the car. <laughs> what were you going to say? Well, I wouldn't have said be anything. Offended. I think, yeah, I think I'd be a bit offended, a little bit, yeah. Even if I explained to you my reasoning. Yeah, you can't say you can't be in the car with someone and say I don't want to go because I think you're going to rape me. Of course, yeah, I'm sure I wouldn't have said it this way, but I know what you mean. <laughs> well, I think to be honest, the conclusion would be that it's really a miracle that we are married now, having such a different experience on in for our first date. But what I would say is um, when you go on a date, I know it sounds like very obvious, but different women bring different thoughts and different expectations. Mm -hmm. So maybe just try to be yourself. Like I've always said that I want somebody to love me before my looks for the kind of person I am. And I forgot about this mantra before the date. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if I was myself, and relaxed as he said after the meal probably have made a thousand times better impression what about when we went to nando's was that the second date it wasn't the second date no because then you definitely wouldn't have called me again yeah we went to nando's uh, for one date and um i thought yeah, it was all nice it was all going well she was actually smiling and laughing this time so we sat down and um do you want, do you want to tell the story um not really no? we, don't, we don't have to tell the story for each single date no but this we is a, good this, dates as well it's an interesting date we had a big argument in nando's about who is going to pay for what and i didn't like my meal so he wanted to buy me another meal and again i thought this is too much money spent on me so 
yeah, an argument about who's going to pay for what appeared and it was a bit silly. It was very silly. She brought herself a, because, because she didn't want me to pay for the meal or pay for a big meal. She brought herself a little piece of chicken and what was it, a piece of uh, carrot on a stick or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but it was something really stupid and small. I was thinking, what the hell is that? <laughs> probably was a starter. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably, it's probably something stupid like a starter. You, did, you bought a starter, didn't you, for, for your main meal? I don't remember. I was, that. Thinking, I was thinking, what's that? Why? What is that? Can you buy? Can you please? Buy, can you please order a proper meal? By the way, I've never been to Nando's before. This was my first time with you. Okay. Well, anyway, so she didn't. She didn't want to order a proper meal because she thought that because she didn't want me to have to pay for a bigger meal. And a little bit of advice for ladies out there. So if someone's taking you out for a meal and they want to enjoy the meal with you, enjoy your company with you. They don't want you to be thinking about how much something's gonna be costing and not ordering because they are worried about how much you're gonna spend. If you're someone who's quite frugal with your money, then fair enough. But from my point of view, I just wanted us to sit down and enjoy each other's company and enjoy the meal. I didn't mm -hmm. want to be eating my huge chicken and watching mm -hmm. her eat her carrot on a stick. <laughs> it, it, just didn't, it just didn't feel cohesive. I know. One, one thing also I can use as, a, as an explanation or I can share as an explanation is that I've always tried to keep away from um, an image of somebody who is with someone to use them or to in any way expect something to be given to them. So I'm an, I consider myself to be an independent woman and I didn't want you to think that you know, I want your money or I'm expecting you every time for you to take me for a meal and you to pay for the meal. So I've always tried to keep an image of I can take care of myself. Not an excuse, but an explanation again, just an explanation. Okay, fair enough. And here we are now. Um, I am very happy with him paying for my meals because he knows me and he knows that I'm not with him just for the money. So, um, and we're married, so, you know, that's how it works.